Hey everyone, here's a question on rectangle. The question is, the area of a rectangle is 49 cm square. So there you will get square here. And its breadth is 2.8 cm. Find the length of rectangle. So what is given? So they have given the area which is 49 cm square and they have given the breadth which is 2.8 cm. What we have to find out? We have to find out the length. Now let's write on what is given and uh, let's see how to find out that. So given area is equal to 49 centimeter square and they have given the breadth which is 2.8 centimeter what we have to find out length how to do this now from the breadth I cannot find out length right so I have to use area here so we know area of rectangle formula so area is equal to length into breadth so I'm going to substitute the known values in this formula and try to find out the length area we know it is 49 so 49 is equal to in place of length I'm going to put L because I don't know the value and breadth is 2.8 so multiplied by 2.8 now I'm going to transpose 2.8 to the other side because I have to find the length value now here I have not written the units that is centimeter square and centimeter have not written it I'm going to write down the units at the end now I'm going to transpose 2.8 uh, to the other side so when you're transposing and if number is in multiplication when you transpose it's going to come in division so it will be 49 divided by 2.8 is equal to length now again L is equal to 49 now you might have learned the decimal chapter in your lower classes 4th and 5th class now here I have decimal in the denominator now I have to remove the decimal point so I what I want to do I'm going to remove the decimal point okay and I'm going to multiply 10 in the numerator now why 10 because um, here after decimal I have a one number so I'm multiplying here 10 in, like if it's a denominator you should multiply in the numerator if decimal is there in the numerator then you have to multiply in the denominator like that so you have learned this why am I why you're multiplying with 10 and all you might have learned in your fourth and fifth class I'm not explaining you now I'm di directly going to do the cancellation here so 49 multiplied by 10 divided by 28 so remove the decimal point here now if it's confusing you you can directly divide 49 by 2.8 and then you can solve in that way now I'm going to cancel 49 and 28 in 7 table so 7 7s are 49 and then 7 4s are 28 now what I got here 70 divided by 4 now we can cancel this further in 2 table or you can directly cancel this in 4 table but your answer will be in decimal because 70 doesn't go in 4 table so uh, your final answer will be in decimal point so let me cancel this in 2 table or you can divide directly in 4 table Okay, I'm going to divide here directly in 4 tables. So let me divide here. So I'm dividing here uh, because the answer is in decimal. So I want to show you how we're going to get the answer in decimal. I can do direct cancellation, but I just wanted to explain because it uh, the answer will be in decimal. So 4, 1's are 4 because 4, 2's are 8. I cannot take that number. 4, 1's are 4. So 3 is a remainder. So drop the 0. Right? Then 4, uh, 7's are 28 again subtracted 2 is a remainder so 2 I got the remainder right so I'm going to put decimal here and I'm going to put 0 20 so 4 5 is a 20 okay so I got the answer 17.5 so this is equal to 17.5 I'm going to write down the unit centimeter so we got the length so length is equal to 17.5 centimeter so that's it. I hope this question is clear. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.